फिनोटिपिक ट्रेट्स एग्जिबिटेड बाय प्लाज्मेट्स जैसे हमने डिस्कस किया कि व्हाट आर द बेनिफिट्स दैट माइक्रोब कैन एंजॉय इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ प्लाज्मेट्स सो व्हेन प्लाज्मेट्स आर प्रेजेंट दे कैन एग्जिबिट डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ बेनिफिशियल ट्रेट्स दैट हेल्प द माइक्रोब्स टू सर्वाइव इन द environment for example some plasmids they contain genes that mediate antibiotic resistance of microbes aur aajkal ye bahut bada concern hai ki jitni bhi antibiotics di jati hain different type of infections ko treat karne ke liye to they are not so effective तो उसकी वजह क्या है उसकी वजह यह है कि माइक्रोब्स ने विद द पैसेज ऑफ टाइम एंटीबायोटिक्स के अगेंस्ट जो है वो रेजिस्टेंस डेवलप कर ली है एंड दिस रेजिस्टेंस अगेंस्ट द यूज ऑफ डिफरेंट एंटीबायोटिक्स इट इज मेनली इनकोडेड बाय दोज जीन्स दैट आर प्रेजेंट ऑन द प्लाज्मिट्स सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द एडवांटेज दैट बैक्टीरिया can have so whenever antibiotic it is given to a patient then microbes they can produce different type of enzymes that can degrade or modify the target antibiotics and even the antibiotic if it is enter into the bacterial cell it is being expelled so the antibiotic resistance it is one of the advantage that bacteria is enjoying so secondly it is not introducing only antibiotic resistance but it also helps the microbes to produce different type of antibiotics so when microbes they are producing antibiotics and living in nature then if some other competitors they are present within the environment so they can be killed because of the action of antibiotics that those microbes are producing that are having the plasmid in addition to that bahut sare complex compounds hote hain nature mein jaise uh, aromatic compounds hai to microbes inko naturally degrade kar dete hain तो ये ये जो डिग्रेडेशन का जो प्रोसेस है तोड़ फोड़ का जो प्रोसेस है अंडर नेचर ये भी वो जीन्स मीडिएट करती हैं जो कि प्लाज्मिट्स पे होती हैं सो इन एडिशन टू दैट सम प्रोटीन्स दैट आर टॉक्सिक इन नेचर दैट मे बी एंटीरो टॉक्सीजेनिक और सिंपली टॉक्सिक प्रोटीन्स लाइक हिमोलाइसेंस दे आर ऑल्सो प्रोड्यूस्ड by certain microbes that contain the plasmids so such proteins like hemolysins if they are produced they can degrade the red blood cells so another advantage that microbes can enjoy while living in the nature especially in the uh, contaminated environment like if metals they are present especially heavy metals then uh, such plasmids can increase the ability of microbes to survive in the presence of metal stress uh, nowadays because of uh, rapid industrialization different type of heavy metals they are being released in the environment so here microbes they are very beneficial are excellent agents to transform such heavy metals so that the environment it is decontaminated and it again become reclaimed for uh, other activities like if soil it is contaminated so it again can be used for agricultural purposes if microbes can uh, transform heavy metals another advantage that microbes can have uh, it is uh, because of the presence of 
TI plasmids are tumor induction plasmids in some microbes like uh, Agrobacterium tumefaciens. If, if it is having a plasmid DNA, then after wounding to plants, such microbes can introduce a portion of plasmid which is called as tDNA that can induce tumorous growth. And other important mechanisms that are encoded by plasmids, it is host controlled restriction and modification that we discussed in last chapter that some methylases enzymes or endonucleases nucleases enzymes they can also be produced by certain uh, plasmids. So overall uh, the size of the plasmid it may ranges from uh, a few base pairs to a few thousand base pairs to several thousand base pairs uh, and its molecular weight it may be 1 into 10 to the power 6 to 200 into 10 is part 6 Daltons. So what are the different advantages? Plasmid encoded beneficial traits may include antibiotic resistance and it is also one of the parameter that we can use in gene cloning to select our recombinant transformants. Then antibiotic production is there, degradation of aromatic compounds and hemolysin production, sugar fermentation uh, because uh, plasmids also encode some genes that can convert sugars into uh, acetic end products, gases, and even alcohols. Then enterotoxin production is there, heavy metal resistance, it is also there. Then production of certain antibiotics like bacteriocin, induction of plant tumors, hydrogen sulfide production, and some enzymes that mediate uh, host controlled restriction and modification. These are the different traits that are mainly beneficial, that are exhibited by different type of microbes. So at least they are beneficial to those microbes that are having or harboring a different type of uh, plasmids. But in nature, there are some plasmids uh, for those uh, any function it is not well elucidated or known. So those plasmids that uh, do not contain well-known functions, they are called as cryptic plasmids. So overall we can conclude here that if microbes, they contain extra chromosomal DNA in the form of plasmids, then they can enjoy selective advantage under natural conditions.